We've had a Kadak Carry Chef 50 for a few years now, and for us it's worked really well. But is a barbecue something you should accessorize? Or is that just making things too complicated? Why isn't it smoking? It's supposed to smoke. Well, I purchased five Kadak accessories to find out. Hi, it's Dave T here, and when I saw this Kadak specific leg leveller at our local caravan dealer, my first thoughts were that it was over-engineered, at £10, probably overpriced, and likely would not work in two out of three situations. We generally cook using the non-stick chef pan, as it's much easier to clean when in the caravan, and getting the barbecue perfectly level helps avoid pooling and the sausages rolling. This leg leveller solves this problem, but only if the leg it is attached to needs raising. If that leg needs lowering, then the device needs to be moved to another leg which involves tools. So in reality, you need to adjust the position of the barbecue to have the leg with this device fitted in a low spot. Or you could buy two or even three levelers, but at about £10 each, that's getting pricey. In practice, the leveler was fairly easy to fit once I realised that it encases the entire bottom end of the leg and you do need to put the threaded foot in before closing the leveler around the leg and screwing it shut. It only took a couple of minutes using the supplied screwdriver, seems fairly robust and did help keep the barbecue pretty much perfectly level. This utensil holder is certainly well made and nice to look at, but its machined hooks are too large to fit through the hanging loops in many of the utensils on the market, including, ironically, those that Kadak sell. I added a short leather strap to hang them by, which then works fine. Overall, it does the job, looks the part, and at about 10 pounds isn't gonna break the bank, so maybe a good one for a gift. This tapas set is really good if you want to avoid having to cook half the meal on the barbecue and the other half in the caravan or house. They are perfect for cooking portions of beans, onions and mushrooms, or even frying eggs without making a mess of the barbecue. They are non-stick and small enough to fit in even the caravan wash bowl, so easy to clean. There's nothing quite like a fresh homemade burger. It gives you the choice of both quality and type of meat in your burgers, as well as any additional seasonings. However, we've tended to find that they can be uneven in shape and thickness, making the cooking times a bit hard to predict and don't always hold together. This burger press is well made with raised lines on each part to give your burgers that professional look. It's easy enough to use, though it does take a certain knack to ensure that the meat fills the entire circle. Does it help the burgers stay together? Well, yes, to a certain extent, though I suspect that simply leaving the burgers to cook and not constantly flipping them makes more difference. They do look professional, so it's a partial thumbs up, and again, maybe a good one for a gift. Now, I was really keen on trying out this smoke box. It's well made and with the engraved Kadak logo, certainly looks the part. It allows you to put a handful of wood chips into the box, which when left on the grill, causes them to smoke, infusing the cooking meats with a delicious smoky aroma. Unfortunately, on the first time out, after reading up on wood chips, I soaked them first. The idea is that this ensures that they smoke instead of burning. However, the reality is that all soaking really did, for us at least, was delay the point at which the wood chips reached ignition temperature. I suspect that on a charcoal barbecue that typically burns for longer, this is not a problem and may even be an advantage. But on a gas barbecue, especially when camping when you want to save gas, this just means that they never start to smoke. So second time out, with the smoker this time and the dry chips, they did smoke, but after a long time. I put them onto the barbecue probably about five, 10 minutes before we started cooking the meat. And they were still on there when all of the meat was cooked. I left them on for another 10 minutes or so and they started smoke. Now this could be a significant problem if barbecuing using gas where there's a limited supply and you really don't want to waste all of your gas on the barbecue. So for a larger barbecue, a longer, longer barbecue with friends or perhaps where you're cooking a lot, then it possibly will work. Uh, when they did start smoking, they did smell nice, but it's just really a question of how much gas and how much time it's going to take to really get them smoking. So I do like this. It's possibly a good idea for a friend as a present um, if they're particularly kind of foodie sort and they really want to try this sort of stuff out. 
Um, I will try them again, see if I can get it to work. But at the moment, I think it's really a case of you've got to kind of like preheat the wood somehow and leave it on the barbecue for a long time beforehand, uh, before you actually start cooking to get those wood chips up to combustion temperature. Taken a while to make this film because of my wood chip smoking mistake on the first time out. Now that I've tried all of the accessory though, here's my conclusions. I still think the leg leveler is a little bit pricey, but it did work and it does make it easier to keep the oil distributed more evenly when using the chef pan. For about a tenner, it's certainly in the gift price range, but maybe a bit underwhelming. The utensil holder works well, but only if you add some string to your utensils. It's probably a better one as a gift as it's not that expensive and does look like a nice quality product. I'm in two minds about the burger press since after all, you can just shape the burger meat with your hands but it does make the burgers themselves more presentable and would probably be an encouragement to make fresh burgers instead of just reaching for a box of frozen ones. This tapas set is really good. We've had ours for a year or so and would definitely recommend these. As for the smoker, well, it was interesting once the chips did start to smoke, but as I've already said, it just takes so long to get it up to that sort of temperature. It may be, as I said, one for a gift. If you do buy it as a gift, then probably a good idea to buy a bag of wood chips to go with them. I hope you found this video interesting or helpful and if you have then please hit that like button and if you are interested in seeing other videos I make then please consider subscribing to my channel but most of all thanks for watching now where's my burger <laughs>